What's up, YouTube? And hello to all of the goldfish uh, lovers out there. I would like to welcome you guys in my channel. And in today's video, we are going to talk about things that you need to have or to do in order to pet a goldfish. So if you are still thinking of having a goldfish or to get one, you've come to the right place. So first things first, we are going to talk about the things that you need to do before you buy your own goldfish. So there are a lot of things that you need to consider. There, are, there is time, time management, there is the expense, of course, and also heartbreak. So first, time. Betting a goldfish is also time consuming. There's a lot of things that you need to do. You need to set up your aquarium. You need to do a lot of water changes. And of course, you need, you need to always, you know, check on your goldfish. If they are still doing well, if they are not stressed or anything. And also, you need to do some maintenance. Like not just water changes, but also to clean your aquarium, you know, to check your filtration system. There's a lot of things that you need to do. And of course, if you do have those uh, time or you don't have work, I mean, you have all day of just checking on your fish, there will be no problem for you with that. But still, maybe it's uh, the tiring part of this is the water changes, but if you do have those, I mean, uh, those things that they use right now, that it would make it would make easy for you to do some water changes like the hose and stuff so there will be no problem with that now second thing is the expenses if you want to have or to fight a goldfish one goldfish okay you don't really need to get a big uh, big tank but you know the bigger the better it's really good for those fishes that they could uh, swim big enough uh, aquarium tank for their growth and of course it's just what they love so you need to consider buying a big tank for your goldfish also some filtrations like uh, sponge filters, the hang back filter, canister filter, or you can just make your own filtration system. Of course, there's also the filtration media. You really need that one. It's for your beneficials or beneficial bacteria. Your goldfish really needs that. And of course, there would be time that you would feel some heart aches or heartbreaks because of course no matter no matter how I mean no matter no matter how you take good care of your fish there will be times that they might get uh, they might got sick and of course it would cause to death so that is the sad part of having a goldfish Maybe you can have them for a very long time, but who knows, right? It's really different when you are uh, petting a goldfish in an aquarium only. It's really better if they could live in the pond or, you know, the more natural place for them. That's what they really love. They said that goldfish could really live for a long time, for about... Uh, 15 to 20 years if you can really take good care of them so mm, those are the main things that you need to consider okay again 
if you got that time and effort to do water changes, uh, feeding your goldfish, uh, maintaining your filtration system, then there's no problem. If you also got the money because you're going to buy fish, especially if you're looking for some uh, fancy fat goldfish like Randas and Ranchies, they are uh, they cost a little bit more than those common goldfish. So, of course, when you buy goldfish, you also need some medications. When they get sick, and those medications are not that cheap. You also need to grab that money and also about the fil uh, filtration media like you also need to buy those things and of course your filtration system if you could do um, sponge filter it's okay but if you could put a lot of filtration system in your aquarium that would be very very nice and it would be great for your goldfish. They would love that. And also, if you're ready for those heartbreaks, so why not? Right? So, and, you know, I would like, like to suggest that if you are planning to get goldfish or to pet one, but it would much be better if it's your first time on taking care of a fish if you could go for those common uh, common goldfish not just go with randas and ranchers right away oh I'm sorry it would be better if you started with those common goldfish I mean I observe that they live or I mean they are not really like those ranches and randas. I mean, maybe they're built or <laughs> built different, or strong. And, you know, it would be better actually if you started with those common goldfish. Just a suggestion. And then, what, you, uh, once you get the hang uh, of it, then you could start. You know, slowly buying those ranches, randas, the hybrids. You could get those fishes and, you know, see for yourself if you could really get the hang of it. And mm, also, I suggest that you uh, over filterize your aquarium. I mean, the more filter or filtration system the better you really need a mm, good filtration or a strong filtration system in your aquarium to maintain your water quality and also goldfish just eat and poop most of the time that is the life cycle of goldfish so eat then poop so you also need to clean those poop to also remove some ammonia and of course you just need to take care of your goldfish like it's your son or daughter it depends on you so I, I hope that helps a lot and if you like this video if it helps you a little bit in your decision making I hope you would like and subscribe to my channel and yeah I wait for my other videos and we're still going to talk about a lot of things about goldfish so that's it and thank you so much